in today's lecture we will study that how to use timer the basic timer operations how to make settings for them in STM CubeMX and writing the code into the Keel IDE debugging and seeing what is happening in the register so let's start search STM32 QMX open it select go to MCU selector now you need to select the microcontroller sorry 053 053 uh, 8 the second one so we have the GUI of the microcontroller in front of us so we need to configure timer so go to timer option select timer select clock source and make settings in the parameter setting parameter settings select the suitable piece scale first go to clock clock configuration and select the maximum clock and then go to the timer settings adjust the GUI for your proper visibility let it be uh, 32 means 31 so the effective preschooler will be uh, 31 and uh, you can select the modes from here counted period if we want to make it one second one hertz frequency one hertz and one second one second is in time one hertz is in frequency so any event occurring in one second every one second is one hertz frequency so let us select for some one hertz one second frequency for that this one now select this one it will be 32,000 and this will be 1000 so it will be around yes this will give you one hertz frequency of timer You can, if you want to use interrupt, you can select interrupt. Now, so this tutorial is for only simple timer application. You, we will just see how the registers are working and what code is used, what basic code is used for it. So, go to project manager and name this application timer basic select the IDE browse location name it
Timer based check. So we have selected that directory for saving the project. Generate the code. So the project is ready. Open the project. You go to main and you can check what you have set. Look, this is timer to be selected. The P scaler is 31999 and the period value is 999. Now, what we have to do to select to turn the timer simply to start the timer, use timer base. Base start held timer base start so uh, sorry at held timer base start you can select out of this drop down you will get the option start it and start this one and the argument is the timer the timer you are using uh, look it is coming drop down as time 2 so by this statement the timer will start running and it will keep running let us compile the code So the code has been successfully built. Zero errors are there and zero warnings are there. Insert the USB of the nuclear board or any microcontroller board you have. Good. Uh, now you need to load the file. Load the file. Not a genuine ST device a board connection. Change the settings according to your nuclear board. Reset. Okay, okay. Load the board. Press the reset button on the nuclear board. Now go to debug to see if the timer is running or what it is doing. Let us see. Go to peripherals. Before launching the program, you should select the registers you want to see. Go to system viewer and the timer. Select timer 2 and the timer to see is count. If the, tam if the timer is running, you will see the numbers moving. Num num numbers moving in the register. So now click the run button. So as you can see, numbers are coming here and they overflow. And they again keep counting so it means our timer is successfully running this value you can see it's running and if, if you uh, verify this 3e7 is nothing but uh, nothing but triple nine value which you have put in the steam cube mx this value is triple nine and this piscular value is nothing but thirty one thousand nine hundred ninety nine this one so this was tutorial for basic timer operation keep watching for next videos